All right, so this is a uh, this is the stuff you don't really ever see on the videos. It's all covered, like got it from Rena Center. Um, let's see. All right, this is a 19. Okay, this is as you can see is a vintage modern. This is a 1974 JMP. Then I have a. Oh, man. See, and what I'm going to do is, instead of listing this stuff on eBay, I'm just going to take it down to one of the local stores and consign it. Because I spend a lot of time trying to, you know, doing all my listings on eBay. And uh, this is a tremo verb right here. I know you can't see it because it's pretty dark. But these are all, uh, there's a dual rectifier. All these three are dual rectifiers. Let's see. There's one, there's one, there's one, and then this is the one that I, that I played through. That's a triple. Alright, so, um, yeah, it's ridiculous. I don't need all this stuff. You know what? There might be another rectifier under, oh, look at this, yep. Okay, so... <laughs> Yeah, I just, it's amazing that I've collected so much stuff. Yeah, but, um, anyways, uh, yeah, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't need six rectifier heads. Let's see, I think that's all of those I have. Yeah, but, uh, and I'm going to take all but one over to sell it. Here's what everyone wants right here. Yeah, this is a Silver Jubilee, like, uh, same thing Slash played through. It's very cool. Here is a, I think this is like a, mm, maybe 78 or 79 or something. I'm not sure. It might even be an 84. So, and then here is a Trim Electric. And that is a Zinky Trim Electric. That, that I'm going to sell. All these things are going to go to this, uh, this shop on consignment. Rivera Knucklehead. This, let's see, this is a reissue plexi here. And a TV cabinet. Tall vintage. Let's see. Super lead 100. Now, hopefully, with all the guitars and stuff I have, I'd like to get down just to the rig that I use. These two cabinets and that fender head, and then, well, basement amp and the Marshall there, and then the Mesa head and I'm going to get rid of this Mesa cabinet. I have two other ones right behind it. But I like this Mar Marshall Vintage cabinet. It's got the Vintage 30s in it. It has a Vintage 30s. Anyways, <clears throat> here is an Ampeg V4 head. Weighs a ton. Here's an SVT4 Pro. And then here are, hopefully, Gosh, hopefully you can see these. Well, there's two other ones down here. Let me get out of the light. It's just not picking it up. Hello. Yeah, you can't see it down there. But there's four of those here. Let's see, okay, yeah, you can see these. There are about 150 of these boss pedals. There's some, these two are pretty, uh, you know, they're probably 200 bucks. They, I've seen them as high as like 375 back in the day. There's a, uh, a Super Champ. And those of you that know, this was made by Paul Rivera for Fender. The same guy that made the Rivera head over here. 
So anyways, also, yeah, there's a uh, JCM 800 stack here and a head. You can see it has the brown grill cloth. And the serial numbers on this stack are like, I don't know, something like 300 apart or something. They're fairly close. And then, let's see, this is an 800 head also. And I'm going to get rid of probably all my 800s. There's let's see, here's a 900. Here's another 800. Here's an 800, and there's a 2000. All right, so yeah, these are, I think these are all the Marshall heads I have here. Then this Ampeg's going to go. So, uh, excellent. Uh, apparently, the only cabinets that are moving right now are things like these checkered ones. So, uh, and, and then the brown. Apparently these uh, JCM 900s and 800 cabinets, just the typical ones, don't really sell that rapidly. So I'm probably going to end up keeping most most of these cabinets, and then I'll just sell them locally. But uh, I'd like to get enough room in here. What I'd like to do is I'd like to have this and just the head, just the head I use. Actually, like I said, this vintage and the Mesa, that, that. All this other stuff out of here, a drum set right there, actually the drum set that, I, that I've been playing. I want to hook it up for recording and uh, just hang out and make music. It's a good deal. But uh, look at this. This is ridiculous. No one should have this much boss pedal stuff. And then there's Marshall stuff here. Yeah. Uh, brand new in the box. Well, I don't know about brand new, you know, some of them might be slightly used, but most of them are in new condition if they're not brand new. The ones in the box, at least. The box is. This is great. I should put some posters here. It's the camera I use to shoot my videos. So anyways, hey, thanks for letting me waste, uh, let's see, eight minutes 15 seconds of your time. The violins are cool. Don't need them. I have, uh, let's see, here's, there's one twin reverb underneath the box. There's another one right there, and I'm pretty sure there's another one behind it. Here's one. This one is I think it's 65. It's, that one's the old one. Let's see. Anyways. Yeah, I just got to... I mean, what am I going to do with this stuff if I don't sell it? Look, here's a super reverb. Right there. Oops. This is a uh, concert amp. Let's see. Move some of the stuff out of the way. And this one is like a... This, this one's a 65. We redid that front and grill cloth on it. But I'm going to sell it all. I've been collecting it for so long. Let's see. Yeah, see this... I don't think something like this is going to really sell. It's just too heavy to ship and it's not desirable enough. See, but uh, these symbols and stuff... I got a, got a zillion zildjins. Actually, I probably have two or three hundred of them. Yeah. Now, let me think. Probably about 150. Let's just say that. Just any time I see expensive symbols that I can get a good deal on, I buy them. Alright, so, hey, thanks for checking it out. Have a great day.